I'd like to introduce you to a few of the key features of Radiant. Radiant is an interface for business analytics in R based on the Shiny package developed by our studio. Now using Shiny gives the app a few nice features. For one, it runs in a browser and so it works on Windows, Mac and Linux. And it also gives us some very nice interactive features that I'd like to give you a demo of. So this is a data set I'm showing you in Radiant on some direct marketing activities. And this is a, an interface for business analytics, and so the data and the examples are all focused in this business domain. Just showing a few examples, uh, if we specify filters, we see how the data changes. We can sort by multiple variables. Uh, if we choose a particular variable, then immediately we see in this case in the visualized tab that a plot is generated. So there's no separate dialog boxes. As soon as I change variable selection, the plots change. I can also select multiple variables and get multiple plots, again, without any additional dialog boxes. Radiant also has some features for reproducible research. So to give you an example of that, let's take a look at the regression tab. As soon as I specify a variable, the interface changes, uh, new features are shown, and as I add more variables, you can see that now the, the ability to add interactions is added. So for example, if I want to specify an interaction, I can see right away what happens to various inflation factors. Okay, so it's very easy to play around with the data, play around with the model, and see how things change as I add variables. I can also quickly see what happens to the residuals when I specify different models. And even though this is a very poorly fitted model to this particular data set, maybe I want to create a report about that. And so here on the bottom left, there's a book icon. If I click on that, it takes me to the R report tab. And within that tab, I can create R markdown uh, reports. And so the code has just been pasted in here that uh, Radian uses to generate the output. And so when I click on update, I will see my report. And so I can save that as an HTML or I can just save the report, the R Markdown report, as an RMD file. Uh, but what I can also do is to save the entire state of the application as a state file. So if I go back to the Manage tab, you see here an option to save state. So all settings, reports, and so on, everything you've been working on will be saved to a file, including the data. So to give you an idea of the types of things that that would allow you to do, let me just load a previous state. And this uses the diamond data set. That is part of the ggplot package. Uh, when I navigate to the view tab, you can see that there's a filter set. This is not the one that we had previously. So this is from memory from the state file. Some variables were selected. There's a visualization that was created in, um, in that previous state. And so that's shown here. I can also take a look at some analyses that I did to compare prices across different tiers and some of the plots that go with that. And I can also take a look at the report that I generated there. Hit update and the new report is, is provided. Now, Radiant also provides an interface for some programming. You can see here the, the code, the, the commands that are used by Radiant to generate the output. And now if I hit quit and quit, I'm gonna go back to our studio and you'll see that the state of the app at the time I was using it is dumped into the global environment. So what I could do here, the report is actually also put in the uh, in the clipboard. If I actually want to run some of these commands and generate the same output that I had while I was using Radiant, the interface, I can do that as well. So all the functions that are used in Radiant for analysis are exported, and so they can be called from R Markdown documents or from, from regular R code. Okay, so those were some of the main features. Uh, I hope that gave you some idea of what the application can do and uh, I'll be posting more uh, videos and uh, blog posts as the app gets developed further.